everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. It's Monday morning after the weekend and I got sales to go over with you today. Now let me first do a quick little intro. I know there are some new viewers that have been coming in watching the channel. So my name is Mike, I go by that reseller guy. I sell on eBay, Amazon, and an antique booth. And I find those items at thrift stores, garage sales and estate sales, local auctions, and just about anywhere where I can find merchandise to flip. This is my main channel. I do have two other channels that are just sort of for fun. One that I do with my daughter called KK and her dad open stuff where we do food challenges, open toys, do that kind of things. And then I have another one called that card guy where I do sports cards and sports collectibles related stuff, opening boxes, showing cards, going through my personal collection and those type of things. This channel is my main focus and I put out four videos a week. Wednesday is usually a day off or a how to video. So if I do a how to video, obviously you'll get five videos that week. My goal here on the channel is to help new sellers and even veteran sellers find new cool things to resell on all the different platforms. My focus is mainly sports collectibles, toys and games, pop culture, and other fun things. I do sell a little bit of clothes, shoes now and then, but those aren't my main focus. All right, I think that's enough of that. Let's get to business. So we gotta go over sales today. That's gonna be number one. Number two is going over all the action figures that I showed you that I picked up. Uh, I think that was in Friday's video where uh, I was having trouble identifying who they are. So I was able to figure out most of them. We'll do a quick little video. I think it's maybe two minutes or so. And then we'll get into the giveaway drawings from all five days from last week. So hopefully you guys got into the drawings because I'm gonna pull those URLs and whatever entries are in there, that's what we're gonna go with. I think Monday's video only has a handful. So if you were in Monday's, you're gonna have a good chance to win. So we're gonna go over Amazon sales first. I only sold two items on Amazon over the weekend which is kind of normal for me. I don't sell a lot on Amazon anymore. And this year, I don't think I'm gonna send anything into the Amazon warehouse. I think everything that I sell on Amazon this year is gonna be fulfilled by Merchant FBM. Uh, FBA is fulfilled by Amazon where you send the items into them and they do all the work for you. Couple different reasons, I'll go over that later. Uh, later this week, I think I'm gonna do my uh, some of my goals for 2021. Because of what's going on this week with all the good videos I have coming up, it may get pushed to next week. But anyway, I'm getting off track again here. Uh, let's go to Amazon. Two items. This is the first one. This is just a little add-on pack of game cards for a Disney, the wonderful world of Disney. This is the family add-on pack. I picked up two different ones of these for a buck a piece at a thrift store. And on Amazon, it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Yeah, this little card pack, 30 bucks plus shipping. The other one is a pack of TDK 90 or D90 tapes. There's 10 of them in this pack. Now, this wasn't a 10 pack to begin with. I found a bunch of singles and I used my uh, shrink wrap machine to put this into a bundle of 10 listed like that on Amazon. And I got $27.99 plus shipping. I pick these up sometimes loose for a quarter or 50 cents uh, or in a hanging bag a lot of times at your Goodwills and Savers and you'll get them in there for, just depends on how many they put in there, but they could be anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar piece. But as long as I'm paying less than a dollar a piece, I will pick them up. So quick and easy for Amazon, two items. What's that? 60 bucks plus shipping or 60 bucks with the shipping? Amazon or <laughs> eBay was a lot better. I sold, I think, 14, 13 or 14 items for a little bit over $600. Now, one of those sales is the bulk of that $600. So that's going to be the last one that I show you. Uh, first, let's show you this little happy guy. We got this dropping stuff. Got this Build-A-Bear turtle. This is like a, the traveling sea turtle. And look, he's still got his tags attached here and the tags on his clothing. He has flip-flops, which I just kind of stuck on his feet. He's got this little fish. He's got his shell on the back. This one here I picked up for a few bucks and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next, we got a lot of three New Kids on the Block Tops Wax Pack boxes from 1989, I believe it is. Now I did have five of them. I just took two of them out to my antique booth over the weekend. And these are my last three. I've been selling these off slowly over the last year, year and a half. I think I had 20 some of these when I first started. Now all three of them were bought by one buyer. I had a quantity discount deal. So as he bought the second and the third, he got a better price on buying them all. And they're actually going up to Canada. So they paid, it was an odd amount, $23.97 plus shipping up to Canada. And I'll end up using Pirate Ship using their simple export rate. But what you gotta be careful of is once a package gets over four pounds, prices jump crazily. So sometimes it's, if this is over four pounds, I'd be better off shipping these two together and this one and doing two separate packages is actually cheaper than one over four pounds. I did sell another Fiesta Bowl patch. These sell for 375 plus a buck and a quarter shipping. I just throw them into a plain white envelope, 
put a stamp on it. Ships out for 50 cents. Don't worry about the tracking. Did sell a hockey puck. This is a minor league puck. A lot of times you can find these in the hanging bags at Goodwills and Savers, and you can get them for 50 cents to a dollar a puck. And when I can get them at that price, it's worth selling uh, these lower price ones. This sold for $12 with free shipping, and that's kind of the range that most of them go for in that $10 to $12 range, either plus or minus shipping. While I was watching some football yesterday, I was doing some listing as well. So I got some of my uh, Fisher-Price Little People lots listed. And these two sold within minutes of each other to different buyers. So obviously I priced them cheap enough to sell because I kind of want to move these. I didn't want them sitting around forever. Uh, the first one is 12 Little People. And I think these are all like the boys and girls. The 12 of these sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Then I did a separate lot with farm animals. So these had cows and pigs and chickens. And there's 13 of these and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And I made sure that the boxes were under a pound. And that's kind of why I have those quantities in here. I did sell another one of these Arizona Cardinals team photos. This is from 1998. What's unique about this is it has Pat Tillman, a very popular player. Uh, if you don't know his story, look it up. But this was his rookie season with the Cardinals. So these sell pretty well. I had like... 20 of these, maybe even 30 at one time. Uh, down to my last few, uh, this is shipping in-state, so it's not going to cost too much. This sold for $7.50 plus shipping. Now, just last week, I showed you these little cars that I got. My whole video title and the thumbnail was I found a red line in a Goodwill bag or a thrift store bag, and it sold already. This is from 1969. Uh, it's the first red line that I've ever found in just a random bag at Goodwill, so I was kind of excited about that, and it was worth a decent amount of money. Now, if this were in really really nice shape i might have been able to get like 40 to 50 dollars for this but as it was with the stickers being put on very crookedly i ended up getting 24.99 plus shipping here's another item that i really didn't know held its value these are called chubby puppies and my daughter used to get these when she was little and they're just little interactive and i say interactive but you just turn them on and they sort of walk around you can buy tracks for them and they go around the track uh when you buy them new i think they cost like 10 or 12 dollars a piece these were three of hers that she had that were just sitting around. So I figured I'd go ahead and list them. We're doing some cleanup around the house. A uh, couple of these were worth decent money. This guy right here, this blue one here, was worth about what I sold a lot for. So I just wanted, again, this is another item that I didn't want sitting around. I just wanted to clear it out. So this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. The next sale is a game called Splendor. Don't know too much about it. It's not a game that I've ever played or anything, but this style game usually sells pretty well. I was lucky on this one because when I opened it up, everything was still new and factory sealed inside. So I sold it as new open box. The game doesn't sell for a whole lot. Even new and wrapped, they're going for about 25 bucks. So I just put mine a few bucks cheaper and got $20 plus shipping. Here's a Rocksmith case for the PS3. Now there is no disc. So this was manual and case only. Even with no disc, I still got $9.99 with free shipping. I did sell two sports cards this weekend. First, we got this Tyler Lockett of the Seattle Seahawks, a little piece of jersey on there. This one sold for $5.99 plus shipping. And the next one is Atlanta Falcons. And this one has Roddy White and Matt Ryan from the Falcons. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, now the big sale of the weekend. And this one's actually going global shipping program. This person is spending a lot of money to get these two items. And it's one of those things where everybody, including me, goes, why are these worth so much other than they are? Uh, I found both of these at the same thrift store and I paid like $2.50 or $3 for these. I paid next to nothing. They're these giant inflatable, I think they're 48 inch pool balls. And for some reason, these sell for big money. There's a few different styles. This is the striped one. They make some different patterns. And I believe even a couple different companies make them, but it doesn't matter which pattern, which company. These sell for about $150 each it's crazy i don't understand it if somebody knows why these sell for so much i don't know what they're being used for do they film up with drugs and smuggle drugs in here i don't know but i got 155 dollars and change for each of these so he paid me 311 dollars plus shipping to get these two items now i'm shipping them they're global shipping so i'm shipping them down to kentucky once they get there they inspect it and send it off so Crazy sale here, about $5 into 300 on this one. Now, if this had made it like five days ago, it would have made it into my top 40 sales of 2020, but it's not. So I got a long way to go, but this one's gonna be one of those top sales of 2021. So like I said, it was like $600 in sales there, another 60 on Amazon. So I'm pretty happy with uh, what sold this weekend to get this new year started. All right, now let's done with sales. We're gonna get over to the fun stuff. I'm gonna show you the identification of all those 
action figures. If you don't want to watch that part, just skip over and get to the drawings. I don't care. But <laughs> uh, then we're going to do the drawings for the five things. I've got them all over here still. Let me make sure that I, that I have them all right because... So if I'm correct, Monday we're drawing for Simon. The next day we're drawing for this football game. Wednesday is a, is a mystery item. No, Tuesday is a mystery item, I think. Is that right? God, I'm going to have to go back and look at these videos, make sure I'm giving the right stuff to the right people. Uh, th the comments will definitely tell me from each of these videos. Now, I'm comboing the two of these things together as one of the items, so you get Buzzword Bits and this Catan Dice Game. And then from Friday's video, you're getting two gift cards, a Duncan for 15 and 10 from Starbucks. So you're getting $25 worth of gift cards. Now, the reason I'm doing this is just a thank you to everybody. I... You know, I say I think every video, and hopefully I do, that I appreciate everybody coming in, watching these videos, uh, having a little fun along with me. And hopefully, by watching them, you're learning a few things and finding some bolos and good things to buy and help you make a little extra money as well. So, right, we're going to slide over. We're going to go do those other things. We'll come back and wrap it all up. All right, here we are with all the action figures that I went through the other day. And uh, there's a few that I already identified when I did the video. So we had the two... Skeletors, we had the blue Power Ranger, but this one has actually a Dino Thunder or Dino Power Ranger. Yeah, he has a little button you press. And this is obviously a Ninja Turtle from space of some sort. Now let's go back. I did identify all but one of these. Just use Google search and I was able to find them through their images. So we'll just start here and go through. Now most of these don't have any accessories. Sometimes they don't work as far as their special actions, like some of them, not this one, but some have little buttons on the back you press to make them uh, you know, block or slash with a sword or do whatever. But I did little sticky notes here of what they are because some of them I couldn't quite pronounce. But this guy here is from the Shadow Shiwan Khan, I guess is his name from Kenner 1994. And again, most of these aren't really worth a whole lot anywhere from a few dollars up to maybe like seven, eight dollars at the top range for just about any of these guys. I think what I'm going to end up doing is doing a bulk lot with these guys and just get whatever I can for them. This little Mohawk guy, this was uh, easy to figure out once you did the search. This was from the Rambo cartoon action figure series. Yeah, I had no idea there was a Rambo cartoon. His name is Mad Dog, put out in 1996. This year we knew was Batman. I guessed he was from the animated series, and yep, that is correct. Batman animated series purple version. This one here I thought was maybe a version of Skeletor, but he was from He-Man. His name is Hordak. So most of these He-Man figures all have this really ripped area, just like that one does there. It's the same body, just different figure. Now, on the tallest guy out of all of them, this one I'm not 100% sure of his name, but this is from the Mythic Knights of Tir Na Nog. Maybe his name is Angus, made in 1998 by Bandai. Uh, most of the figures had like armor and accessories and everything like that, so I think this is Angus, but it's from that set either way. We'll go over here. This one was Cable from X Men. I'm not sure exactly which action figure series, but it is Cable. This one here, I only found one of these out on eBay. This one is a Soma Sonic Ranger from 1994. Sort of looks like the Robocop face. He looks like he could be from Judge Dredd. But this is what he ended up being from, Soma Sonic Rangers. And the only one of him sold for, I think it was like 6 or $7. But I don't think I'm going to sell them individually. I think I'm just going to do this big lot and get rid of them all. This one here, this is Flames... Flamestorm from Gargoyles. And I was correct. He did have wings on the back. You can see they broke off. Now this next one, this one I couldn't identify it. Uh, during my last video, I showed that there was writing on the bottom of his feet and it says Mar McFarlane 2000 from New Line. Uh, so he's from a movie of some sort, but I would used Google search. I searched on eBay using the keywords McFarlane 2000 New Line, and I could not figure it out. So if anybody else wants to put in a little extra research, see if they can figure this guy out, there's a little closer for you. Who am I? All right, this next guy obviously is a Minotaur of some sort, and he was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 
slash and block minotaur by bandai 1994 so again no accessories he did have a little button on his back when you press him his arm does that i don't know if his other arm was supposed to or not but one arm works believe it or not this guy's name is napoleon bonifrog yeah from 1990 made by playmates he is a freaky looking frog and uh the ninja turtles had some interesting characters in their show just like this guy triceraton Yep, he is a Triceratops dinosaur, and he's Triceraton. Now, he does have his one accessory. He has the belt. That wasn't on a lot of the figures that I saw out there, but he's also supposed to have a tail on the back, and that tail is not included. Now, here is one guy I could not find any information on. He is obviously all pink. He had a battery, or at least it looks like a little spot for a battery in there but I could find no information. There was no writing on the feet. I did Google searches. It came up with stuff from Tron. It came up with all kinds of different pink action figures, but nothing was like this. There's what his chest piece looks like. He's got like these little lightning bolts on there. And it looks like maybe you press that little button in the middle, but I could find no information on that guy. So that's what we had here. Just wanted to uh, come back and show you that I figured them all out. If you were curious what some of the names of them were, they are going to be in a lot of my store. I'm just going to run it as an auction. I'm going to run all of them. I'll probably put the two Skeletors in their own lot and then put all of these figures here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 action figures in one lot. I only paid $3 for the lot. So I'm going to make money either way. I'll probably list the two skeleton, two Skeletors at like 10 or $12 plus shipping and whatever I can get for these at auction is what they go for. But I'll probably have those up at auction uh, sometime this week. All right, we are on YouTube comment picker and we're gonna go ahead and put the URL in here. We're gonna filter duplicate users and see how many comments we have. I don't think this is very many on this one. Was that 18? So you have a one in 18 chance of winning that Simon game. We'll go over here and pick a winner. Good luck to everybody. And like I said uh, in the videos, no duplicate winners. So if you win today, you are not eligible for any of the other days. So good luck. Let's see who gets picked. Go Zoom, and our winner is David Gonzalez. David, David, you're getting a shout out on this one. Congrats, David. You are the winner. Simon says he can't wait for the top 40 items of 2020. Neither can I. So congratulations, David. Simon is yours. Now drawing number two, we got to put in that URL. And how does he, where's paste on here? It's hard to do both of these at the same time. Filter duplicate, get comments. Let's see how many we have this time. 27, a lot more this time. And what are we drawing for? Mystery, you don't know. Now it's gonna be a little box of fun stuff, some things to resell and stuff like that. Uh, so let's go over here, let's hit start. And uh, good luck this time. And the winner is the Tampa Bay Picker. I want that mystery item. So Tampa Bay Picker, you get a question mark. Uh, again, contact me through Instagram or email down below in the description of this video. Congrats. Now the third drawing. This is from the video we did on Thursday. This one had the choice of two different options. Not the choice, but I'm going to pick who uh, gets what. We have a total of 22, so we had less entries, and we're drawing two from this one. So you got a pretty good chance. Get the props up here. We're going for these. I am probably just going to pick which one they get. So good luck to everybody again. And this time... Sporton 1977. I love playing fantasy football, but I've never played the game Catan. So that's what you're getting. You're getting the Catan dice game and buzzword bits. You get both of those. So congrats. All right. It gives us the option down here. Pick another winner. We're going to pick another one. This one's for the football game. I know somebody really wants this one. So I hope I get this for them. I hope she gets this one. I don't usually have favorites out here, but I really want her to get this game because she wants it. And the winner is, oh, it's wow things. All right. Catan football. So you got football. Contact me again through uh, Instagram or email. And everybody, please, when you do send me a message, also put a comment in one of the videos. That way I know that nobody's going in there and trying to uh, claim to be the winner and steal one of your prizes. And now for the final drawing. Get that URL, comments. Let's see how many we got this one. 26. Again, your odds are pretty good. Plus those other people already won, so they are not eligible. Again, this is the final drawing. $25 in gift cards. Starbucks and Dunkin' there, 15 and 10. So good luck. I'm a Dunkin' fan. Let's see who's gonna win this. 
The winner is, no, David, you're not getting these. David, luckily David's a good friend of mine, so uh, he's not going to complain too much, or maybe he will, but either way, he's already got Simon. We're picking a different winner. David, way to get drawn twice this week. That's like two shout outs. All right, we got Ollie's place. All right, congratulations. Glad you got those. You love Dunkin' Donuts. So do I. So again, contact me through Instagram or email, and I will get these two items sent out to you. All right, congrats, everybody. All right, that's everything I got for today. So uh, before I forget to remind you, tomorrow starts the top 40 sales of 2020. We're going to have numbers 21 through 40 yesterday. I went through my list. Let me show you this list of top items I sold. I haven't completely finished the video yet because I was writing my top sales down. Look, I have one, two, three, and almost a half pages of items to sort through. There's about 70 items in here, and I got to narrow it down to 40. So that's going to be uh, a little bit of a task today. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, appreciate the comments. Now, if you won, you need to contact me, Instagram or email, both links down below. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.